back to our... You see that white bucket? That ain't wheat. A wiggly, squirmy mass of snake in plural form in case you can't bring yourself to watch your TV, which is just one of hundreds of reasons the Ards are packing up house and leaving the home they bought in January. It's really hard to rest assured at night to not not uh, think that you've got a snake in your bed with you or you're going to step on them when you get up. There are the family stories. It was only a baby snake, but it was a snake and I was like, oh! There's a snake. Do you guys realize what's next to you? We've discovered them actually climbing up, slithering up the edge piece of the vinyl side. Plus home video. No, oh, they're way active. They're way active because oh, it's they are. fall, I guess. They're jumping. That's not to mention the dozens they caught and are holding in empty wheat buckets, proof they aren't making this stuff up. And I called my mom and I'm like, Mom, there's snakes in our house. It gives all new meaning to the upper Snake River Valley. The family not sure who is watching who because the snakes are down here, but also up there. It's a little discerning, uh, to say the least. So the Ards are moving to a house in Rexburg. After all, who can blame them? And we've just absolutely had it uh, with this situation. We don't see it going away uh, anytime soon. In Salem, Idaho, Aaron Coons for NBC News. I actually think they need some stay absolutely disgusting.